光ってびっくりした途端にもう階段の上に吹き上げられたんですよ火の海の中に自分が一人がおったったみたいな20万の人間を一発の爆弾で殺したいことは大きな罪悪,だ罪悪だと思いますよ What kind of tragedy did the atomic bomb bring? Happiness Realization Party leader Ryoko Shaku paid a visit to Hiroshima. I was always going to be a little bit of 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 a 赤ちゃんを抱いてこうしてられるこれでも赤ちゃんを抱いとってもお母さんは亡くなってるんですよそしたら赤ちゃんのここ顎からね上だけ顎から上だけが出てそして一生懸命でね赤ちゃんがお乳を吸ってるんですおっぱい吸ってるんですお母さんは死んでるんね私が見たのは男の人でも,も背中に乳房がこう垂れ下がったよね。水ぶくれですね。うん、そういうのとかもろぼろぼろ。火は垂れてね、ボロボロですね。その亡くなったのを今度ね、焼かされるんですよ。それが一番辛かった。ずっと体中、うちが湧いてるんですよ。それでそれが耳に入ってね、かゆでかなんかを。お兄ちゃんここ耳かゆていけんのよって言ってみながらそれ見てねかわいそうだな思ってねお母さんお母さんって何でも呼び寄ったら下の方でねここへここへ声が聞こえた周りが足がついてだから母がね下敷きになっとる下の方からね向こうからね煙が放ってきよったんですよだから父がいやみんなが逃げんとねダメになる逃げろ言うて言う逃げるぞ言うてねそれからその時にもう母がなんかあの階段の下敷きになっとるようなから痛い苦しいとか言って言ってたんですよ泣いたりしてねそれけど父が逃げるぞって言って言った時にねだからお母さんごめんねごめんね言ってほいでそしてそしたら母の泣く声がないなったんですよあお母さんねやっぱりあのみんながね逃げるって言うたら助からんっていうようなねあれでねそれでから泣くのもやめちゃったんかな思ったり声もしなくなって。In a survey conducted soon after the dropping of the atomic bombs, 85% of Americans answered that the act was justifiable. In a survey conducted April this year, 56% Answered that the act was justifiable. Why do they believe that it was right to use the atomic bombs, which killed more than 200,000 people? They insist it was a necessary move to end the war quickly in order to save 500,000 to 1 million American troops. But is this story based on facts? The idea that that was the only way to, the bomb was the only alternative to an invasion, there's no truth to that at all. But the real reason why the United States dropped the bomb was to send a, a signal to the Soviet Union, to send a warning, to let them know be, be, that if they interfered with American plans in Asia or in Europe, then this was what's going to happen to them. He claims that the U.S., foreseeing the rise of the Soviet Union, Showed them the power of the atomic bomb. Moreover, Kaznick points out that the dropping of the bombs on Nagasaki and Hiroshima were experiments on humans. They wanted to test two bombs. We had a uranium bomb and a plutonium bomb. If we had a thorium bomb, we might have taken out a third city. 
uh, but we only had two. So they wanted to know what the effect was. In 1947, the U.S. sets up the Atomic Bomb Casualty Commission in Hiroshima, and 1948 in Nagasaki. And the ABCC, as it was called, uh, doesn't treat the victims of the bomb. It just studies them. They've built up tremendous resentment. I know a lot of the people used to go to the ABCC to get examined, you know, naked in front of a room full of doctors and others who were there. And they were humiliated. Uh, they were bribed into coming with food because they were hungry as kids and put through this for years. And then often when people died, they weren't buried in Japan. Their body parts were often sent back to the United States for further experimentation. So the Americans did not treat the victims. My Japanese, my Hibakusha friends still feel that they were used as guinea pigs. If they killed 200,000 people as an experiment on humans, the atomic bombs were no doubt crimes against humanity. If there were great crimes on the side of the Allies, comparable to the crimes of the Germans, in regard to Jews, it can only have been the atomic attack on Japanese cities. This can be said, and it was said, namely, the so-called Holocaust was not worse than the atomic attack on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Those who deny the legitimacy of the bombs would be criticized as historical revisionists in the Western world. Which is a silly word, right? Because every historian is by definition a revisionist. That's what historians do. They come up with interpretations. They try to challenge previous interpretations, find new evidence and new ways to analyze and interpret things. So every historian is a revisionist. Guilty Japanese and Germans, guilty Americans and that this contradiction is too simple and must be improved, not, not negated, but improved. What do the victims think of this? もう大なかったと思うんです。これ白色人種だこれ落としたら重大になってると思うんですよね。あ、ね、自慢の人間は一発のバキダンで殺したいことは起きない。在国在役だと思いますよ。アメリカはね、全面的にね、謝ってほし